brother! And welcome everyone to another episode of J vs. Ben. Now, last week we talked about all the correlations between the Marauders and the modern day generation of Harry Potter. So this week, we thought we'd go head to head to see who knew more about the Marauders themselves. <laughs> As a reminder, how the J versus Ben quizzes work, we are asked the question but not given the multiple choice answers. We have to remember 100% from in, in here. Brains. But if we both agree that neither of us have any idea, we can get the multiple choice from Derek, who will be reading the questions off screen. And if you want to be playing along at home with us, we have a link in the description down below. Yes. Uh, also, we've added in a new element to the game, which is this timer. Each of us will be allowed to use it uh, three times throughout the game. Thrice. Basically, what happens is if we think that we know it so much better than the other person, we can answer the question and to prevent them from seeking the information deep in their mind, flip Boom. the timer. But what we have recently decided mm. is that we both have to play by the timer. It's not inflicted on just the other. It's like once the timer starts, yes. both, an both answers have to be ready at the end. At the end of it, yes. So you can't just aggressively force Jay. the other person to Jay. do it. <laughs> As if that was hey. something I would do. Well, you know. For a Slytherin thing to do. Let's dive right on in. Question one. Which of the Marauders lent Hagrid their flying motorbike? Three, Ready? Two, one. Ah, oh, I got it off young Sirius Black. Sirius it is Sirius Black. Black. There he is. Boom. Boy, they drop his name so early on and you're like, oh yeah, Sirius Black. I don't even remember him. Right? He's not important. I love that, that that's in there. Though. Me too. Yeah, that's a good one. Question two. Remus Lupin's wife Tonks was sorted into which Hogwarts house? information about the Marauders, but uh, that's a little reach. I don't disagree. A bit of a reach, yeah. <laughs> Fluffletuff. She is a Hufflepuff. Woo Classic pairing Gryffindors and Hufflepuffs. Maybe. I don't know. That actually doesn't even seem right. I don't think yeah, it doesn't seem right, does it? They're kind of unique in that way. Yeah. Hmm. Interesting. Mm. Anyway. Question three. The chapter Snape's Worst Memory, featuring the young marauders, takes place in which book? This uh, one, uh, I feel like, is a little confusing because we get flashbacks to this general area twice. Uh, yeah. yeah. Right. I'm pretty sure I got this, though. Yeah. Okay. You ready? Yeah. Three, two, one. Order of the Phoenix. It is Order of the Phoenix. Yeah. Whoop, whoop. Because I can, I just remember it's because it's during the Occlumency lessons. Right, right, right. That's fair. Question four. Which of the Marauders was a Gryffindor prefect? Three, two, one. Lupin! Lupin! It's Remus Lupin. It's kind of a weird question, because not to give anything away, but Lupin gets the prefect, but then James gets head boy. I know, that was, that was what tripped that me works. up as well. Yeah. yeah. Question five. Padfoot was also known by which code name? I hope I'm not, like, slightly wrong on this. Oh, wait. Oh, uh, hold on. I am. I was just confusing something. Three, two, one. Snuffles? It is Snuffles. Snuffles. Oh my gosh, I'd written down Fluffy, and I was like, oh no, wait, that's a different... <laughs> okay. oh, that would, wrong one, wrong one. I was like, oh, that, that was a close one. I almost missed it. I, I couldn't remember. I thought it was Snuffles, but I was like, this feels like one where it could be like, Fluffles, or yeah, like, like, like ever like, so slightly know, not like Snuffles. Snarfles, or something yeah. uh, something a little off, because it's some, Harry Potter. <laughs> some other kind of kitten-like yeah. name. Right. Question six. Who said, Prongs wrote again last night? This is like, this feels like timer, except there's such a limited number of things you could even guess. Right, like, I mean, only so many people would even know right. who Prongs is. That's sort of my problem. I'm thinking a stab. Yeah. Three, two, one. Up at Lupin. Put Lily. The correct answer is Albus Dumbledore. No, that's Man. right. That is what I had written down, and I was like, why would Dumbledore know? Why would he know? No, it's when he's thought. It, this is uh, when they're explaining things to Harry and Prisoner after he mm -hmm. conjured the yes. Patronus. That's the prom That's when Prongs wrote again. Uh, Man, I had Dumbledore is... written down, and I erased it. I'm so mad. I, I would have thought Dumbledore, but then I was like. To say Prongs wrote again, I, th I thought for sure it was going to be like Lily saying James was cooped up, so he went out as a stag, like in a letter uh, or something. Oh, 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 I, I didn't remember the context of it okay. at all. I yeah. thought literally, like, literally he as transformed. Yes. Okay, yeah, yeah. No. Question seven. Which of the Marauders owned a house elf? Three, two, one. Serious Black. It is Serious Black. Man, he owned I'm so, uh, I'm so mad I missed that stupid. I had it right. Oh, 
Uh, yeah, I know. I'm if not. I if, uh, if we like tie or if I lose by one, I'm gonna. Mm. Anyway. <laughs> Question eight. Sirius's trusty steed Buckbeak was returned to Hogwarts under what name? <laughs> it's kind of just like the uh, like the timer uh, one before, where it's like, could it just be a little off? Yeah. Yeah. Right, three, two, one. Wither wings. Wither wings. The correct answer is wither wings. All right. There you go. Timer. And they do a really good job making sure that you remember that it's Buckbeak. <laughs> oh yeah! Oh my God! It's like Buck Buck like, I mean yeah. Witherwings. Wings. We're talking to other Buck. I mean Witherwings. <laughs> Worst code name ever. It's like, yeah. What? What exactly are they going for? Or what is J.K. going for with that? Like, let's let's keep in mind how accidental everybody is about this. <laughs> yeah, like, we pulled think, a fast one on the yeah. ministry. We did. <laughs> <laughs> like, I think as long as they didn't get it that night. Whatever they don't they don't remember what this buck this hippogriff looks like yeah. right right <laughs> they'll never find it again whatever whatever question nine which Weasley brother owned Scabbers before Ron I I immediately I had a thought and then I'm second guessing it now uh, yeah it's just I'm going with my gut all right I'm going with my gut three two one Bill Percy it is Percy no oh I'm so mad Man. you know Percy was in my mind too and I was like. Why would it, but, but why, why would Percy why have would a rap? Percy, well, yeah. not like why would Percy have a rap, but like Percy still in school, right? Like why would yeah. like, why would he yeah. give it away? Because they haven't even bought him that owl yet, have they? Uh, I think they have. I think they got they got him the owl for becoming a prefect. a prefect, which is probably happening in Ron's first year. Yeah. Oh, that's, what that's exactly that's what exactly does. what yeah. happens. He got the owl. Keep up, keep up. He says it way too many times. <sighs> Percy's the worst. Percy is the actual worst. Question 10. Who is Sirius Black's brother? Regulus Octurus Black. Yeah, okay. <laughs> R-A-B. One That's of the first Harry Potter mysteries ever first, solved to us. First fan theory that I have ever, I was ever aware of. Question 11. Which of the Marauders took over five minutes to be sorted? Three, two, one. Peter Pettigrew. It's Peter. Peter. <sighs> Hat stall between uh, Gryffindor and Slytherin. You know, what's interesting, though, to me about that is that they always say between Gryffindor and Slytherin, but, like, in a way, 11-year-old Peter Pettigrew feels maybe a little bit more like a Hufflepuff to me. Could be. Yeah, like, I agree. Like, more just, like, wants to be a part of it or mm -hmm. something. Like, I, I don't know. Like, there's no malice in that it's just the way that he's attracted specifically, like, to power positions. Mm, could be. Um, but, like... I think... I think I think it says it's between Slytherin and Gryffindor. I'm it does. It does. Oh, okay. I, I've always just felt like I could have seen him as. Hmm. This is even more credence to our whole Neville uh, Peter thing because Neville's a hat stall too, but his was Gryffindor and Hufflepuff. Right. Yeah. Right. 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 Question twelve: During which year at Hogwarts did James, Sirius, and Peter become animagi? This is a trick question. It is. Maybe a little confusing. It is stupid question. I know the answer, but it's a stupid question. I remember, and I'm going to explain it after. I remember we've had this yeah, before. We had we've this. gotten. Oh, I was so mad last time. I'm totally second guessing what mine is, but uh, three, two, one, fifth. third. The correct answer is the fifth year. Yeah. Uh, okay, but you know what? I think that the question is incorrect, and I, th I, I remember arguing this last time when we both put third because I'm pretty in my mind the way I read it. James and Sirius do it in the third year, and it takes Peter two more years to figure it for them to like get him there. Oh, sure, sure, sure. Is what sure. I think happened. And right. I think whoever makes these quizzes doesn't realize that because it's the second time. Right. Well, so because that the problem with that would be that is that if it's the fifth year and it took Peter two more years, then he wouldn't have learned until a seventh year. Right. And then he wouldn't have had any time to like go out exploring the grounds with them. It would have been his seventh year. Yeah. That's the problem? It, that, yeah, the way they described it, it makes it sound like they did it and then taught him how to do it. But I think the way the quiz is interpreting it is that with their help, after two years of trying, all three of them got it. Which uh, is stupid. That is stupid. I, because James and Sirius would definitely figure it out before. Anyway, whatever. Move on. Move on. Question 13. Who described Remus's lycanthropy as his furry little problem? This is one where I can't remember if it is said, like, in a more playful way or with malice. Right. That's sort of where I'm teetering on to. Okay. Yep. Three, two, one. Snape. Snape. The correct answer 
is James Potter. Oh, oh man. We were both, we went we were the both on the wrong way. way. Yeah, I, that, I was between Snape and James, too. <laughs> That's funny, though. We both missed it in the same way. Yep. Question 14 is a select all that apply. How did Wormtail fake his own death? The answers are cutting his finger off, leaving bloodied robes, breaking his wand, biting himself. Ooh, this is tricky. This is really little, okay. All right, I don't, I don't feel particularly really. good about this, but me neither. But okay, I have three some answers. Two, one. So cutting his finger, and then I put wand. I put A and B. So bloody <coughs> robes and cutting finger. The correct answer is cutting his finger off, and biting himself. What? Really? But how does that fake his own death? I don't know. That's what the quiz tells me. Did he bite his finger off? Uh, maybe. That's what I initially thought when I read it, but I don't actually know the answer. I don't understand. That's weird. Like, maybe he did bite his finger off, and I'd have never realized it. We should put the text on screen right hmm. now. We should try to and show this out. moment. Sure. Yeah, where he bites himself. I don't I, Honestly, I went with the uh, wand one because of literally a tweet we got yesterday where we have um, Sirius's wand right here. But apparently you can buy Sirius and Lupin and, and James. James's wand, but there's no Pettigrew wand. And I was like, oh, maybe this is because he broke it. Maybe right, it's because it's available. never been relevant. It's never been, yeah. yeah. That, that's a good thought. But no, I don't know. That's that's super yeah. weird. I, I did not remember the wand because I feel like I that would have like stood out. That, uh, that would have too. That's all I, the only reason. I was like, it has to be at least two of these. But Right. Uh, the robes didn't make sense to me because like, they say all, all all they found was his finger. Oh, they that's would have found true. the robes. They would have found the robes. But then the wand applied. I should have gotten that. Whatever. I should have whatever. deduced it out. Question fifteen: What did Harry see his father doodling during an exam? Whoever has the more complete answer will get it right. I know I have a portion of it, but I can't remember if there's something else to it. Okay. Yeah, you got it. Hang on. Do you? Okay, three, two, one. I have L E. Yeah, letters part L and E. The most correct answer is the letters L E and a snitch. And a snitch. Oh, I was thinking snitch, but hmm. what do we? I I think we got that. I think you both have the exact amount correct. So that's okay. Fine. Yeah, well, it doesn't. Uh, I would say let's count it because I feel better about it. Yeah. <laughs> and it doesn't really matter. We'll either both miss it or yeah. get it right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Exactly. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We may but as now, well give ourselves the point. Doesn't now we get the, the point for the stats. <laughs> for, the, for the statistic keepers I'm padding my stats right That's now. right. <laughs> yeah, of those. course we should count this. Right. <laughs> <laughs> we both got it wrong. We may as well get a point for it. <laughs> <laughs> it doesn't make any difference. Cheers to that. <laughs> Woo. Nice mug. Question 16. According to Ron, scabbers used to enjoy which sweet? Do you want multiple choice? Let's do it. Okay. The choices are jelly slugs, peppermint toads, cockroach clusters, and fudge flies. I, I'm always fascinated by how J.K. Rowling imagined candy in the wizarding world. It's so As often just a common candy mixed with a weird animal. Yeah. Except for fizzing whizbies. Fizzing whizbies. <laughs> Oh, man. Oh, boy. Cursed Child is not a great book, but it is a great, great. play. Play. Yep. Yeah. Okay. Hang on. Oh, I have an answer. Oh, oh, sorry. <laughs> did, you, did you know it once you heard it? I had a specific half of it in my brain, and then I was like, if it's confirmed with the multiple choice, I'm just going to go with that. All right. Sounds good. Yeah. Ready? Three, two, one. Fudge flies. Jelly slugs. The correct answer. Is fudge flies. Yes! Oh, is. man. It always is. I was like, chocolate flies isn't right, but <laughs> I know it's flies something. I was, I don't know why, but I was like, some kind of a gummied worm. So when you said jelly slugs, I was like, well, that feels right. Man, mm. I picked up and put back jelly slugs like probably 14 times the last time we were at Universal. Really? <laughs> yeah, I don't know why I didn't just buy them. <laughs> I, so I have the problem every single, I have like a bunch of Harry Potter candy in my cupboard light right yeah. now. And I'm like always so like sentimental about it. Yeah. I don't want to eat it. Yeah, I'm like, exactly. why don't I not have it? That's, I, you know what? I have a box of Birdie Bots Every Flavored Beans and part of me like doesn't want to eat it because then I won't have it. But then part of me also doesn't want to eat it because I'm like, some of them are gross. <laughs> So, yeah, right, right, right. <laughs> That's the problem is that like I almost wish they had Birdie Bots every flavored beans and then like packaging of Birdie Bots every flavored beans, but they all just taste good. Right, yes. Like that's what I want. That's Can what someone I want. make that? Because that's what I want. Right. 
And if anybody wants to just send us like a huge bag of jelly bellies, that would also be fine. Or any Harry Potter candy. Or that. Question 17. In what order did the Marauders die? Oh, interesting. Interesting. Okay, we have three, two, one. James, James Sirius, Sirius Peter Lupin. Yes, that's what I have too. The correct answer is Prongs, Padfoot, Wormtail, and Mooney. Yay! <laughs> yeah, in that order. So yeah, James Sirius Peter Remus. <laughs> James, Godric's Hollow, Sirius, Department of Mysteries, Peter, Malfoy Manor, and Lupin, Battle of Hogwarts. Yep. That is correct. I almost mixed up uh, Lupin and... Peter thinking mm -hmm. like, oh, Peter was the last one, but then I forgot. Right, yeah. They were pretty close. They are pretty yeah. close. Same day, probably. Um, it, Within 24 no, hours. No, no, because they're in Malfoy Manor when he dies, and then they go to Shell Cottage, and then they rob Gringotts, and then they go to Hogwarts. Oh! No, so I'm not sure how long they're there at Shell Cottage, but That's, it's more than no, a no, day. Yeah, you're totally right. No. That's true. I was thinking they will, yeah, you're right. You're right. Same book, whatever. Same. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Question 18. Which Marauder's father invented Sleek Easy's hair potion? Three, two, one. <laughs> Hames. It is Hames. Yeah. Boy, that was an easy one. <laughs> yeah. For so late. Oh, do you know what? We cruised right past... Question 17. 17. Yeah. The dreaded question 17. Oh, man, look at that. They, they lobbed a softball at us there. <laughs> Question 19. Who bids Professor Snape good day and advises him to wash his hair, the slime ball? Oh, man. Oh, no. Uh, this is, I know exactly what scene this is. Mm -hmm. And it's, this is, this is a complete roll of the dice because all four of them just launch a series of hair jokes at him. Right, right, <laughs> yeah. right. Yeah. The slime ball. Ready? Three, two, one. Mr. Wormtail. The correct answer is Mr. Wormtail. Yes! Come on! <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. I think that one stands out to me because when you re-listen to it, the idea that Wormtail is, like, on the side of the Marauders yeah. right, and is, like, an enemy of Snape and he's being, like, this funny friend of them. Right. That's, like, the only time you see it in the whole yeah. thing. I guess maybe it's... Yeah. Oh. In the flashbacks, but, yeah. Yeah. That's infuriating. Question 20. Which spell is used to move Professor Snape out of the Shrieking Shack in Harry Potter and the Prisoner of Azkaban? Ah. This is one of those, like, hey, they used it once. Or something spells. Dumb marauders in there. Deep cut smells. Spells. <laughs> <laughs> smells? Smells. That's right. <laughs> They're weird smells, the slime balls. <laughs> they really tried that cologne on out hard. <laughs> yeah, you know, it's, it runs in the sleek, easy... Next right. generation of products. Sure, sure, yeah. yeah. Prongs musk. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Boy, <laughs> smells you know, of stag. <laughs> whenever we get to grooming products on supercarlerbrothers.store. Uh, you know, we've we got one ready. <laughs> yeah. All right. Yep. Three, two, one. Mobile corpus. Mobile corpus. Hey! The correct answer is mobile corpus. Yes! Oh my gosh. I'm gonna high, let's high five on that one. Damn! So happy we got that. Every time we get one of those, it's like... Man, who knows? I, I almost, I put Levicorpus yeah. to start, but that seems more like just to raise, mm -hmm. not to move. Yeah. Right? That just like lifts you by your ankle. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. That's what they do to Snape in yeah. flashbacks. Yeah. Right, right. Question 21. Which marauder owned a wand described as brittle by Mr. Ollivander? Do we know what their wands were? Okay. I'm, I'm set. I'm set. Okay, three, two, one. James. Peter. The correct answer is Peter Pettigrew. Freaking frack! Are you si When did they... Uh, I was like, this is the, the only time I think he would have done it was when he was selling Harry his wand and described his parents' wands to him or something. Oh, right, That's what right, I was thinking. Right, right, I was like, right. I'm trying to think when he ever would have described... Anyone else's Yeah, and I'm like, when would he describe Sirius's wand or Remus's wand or Peter's wand, but... I don't even know when. Yeah, I, I have absolutely no idea. Um, the only thing I could think is that Brittle just seemed like lacking in integrity, which seemed like Peter oh, to me. Oh, Brittle, I, that was my immediate thought was Peter, but I just couldn't think of when he ever would have. Right, but that, that was my locked and loaded explanation. I don't know that from memory. That was just me reasoning it. It must be, <clears throat> I wonder. 
did they take Peter's wand in the basement when Ollivander was there and then he later identified it at Shell Cottage? That, that must be it. I don't know. Maybe we'll put the book text here. There you go, yeah. <laughs> Question 22. Who killed Remus Lupin? I'm gonna... Timer. Oh boy. What fun. I feel like it would come to me, but the pressure is killing me. <laughs> <laughs> oh boy, the use of the timer. It's going. It's almost done. Three. It's done. It's done. I don't have an answer. Oh boy, that's never happened. I know. I put Dalahov. The correct answer is Dalahov. Woo! Man, I would have gotten there. This, I mostly know. I think that was like my. We made some like top 10 Death Eaters video or something, or top 10 evil characters. And I remember part of the reason I wanted to make that was just to shine the light on that one character who you don't know very much. Dalhoff. Because I put him higher than Bellatrix. Ha! Ha! Popular opinion alert. But that's the big argument. He killed Lupin, and then you're like, oh, well, yeah, you're right. Never mind. Forget it. <laughs> is it even... I don't even know... Is it explicitly said in the books? Because I feel like I have read it, the interview with J.K. Rowling where she says who killed Lupin. Oh, uh, I think it is said in the books. Okay. Or maybe it's just said that they were like, maybe like Lupin was dueling Dalahov or something. But, uh, and then it turns up later that he's dead. That he's so you dead. don't know. It's unconfirmed if if it was that him. duel is what did it, maybe. I don't know. Ah, uh, well. Whoosh! Question 23. What food and drink did Harry bring to Sirius in Harry Potter and the Goblet of Fire? Again, more points, or the correct answer will go to whoever gets it more right. Yeah, as I'm... I'm sort of guessing. Three, two, one. I said chicken legs and pumpkin juice. Uh, I said turkey legs and butter beer. The correct answer is a loaf of bread, uh. a dozen chicken legs, hey. and a flask of pumpkin juice. Woo! I got two! As for Derek's rules, <laughs> I didn't, you know. <laughs> didn't get the loaf of bread, but that is the more correct answer. Give me that point there. Mm. Who calls it a chicken leg? Chickens, mostly. <laughs> <laughs> Chickens can't talk. You, uh, even like That's wings. Like, that must be like a British, like a, like a. Right, but yeah, you Europe would call thing. you call a drumstick like a like a like as a wing, even though it's a leg. Yeah. But you would call it like a turkey leg is a substantial enough amount of meat. Yeah. To call it a leg. Sure. Question twenty four: Which OWL exam were the Marauders taking when Harry saw them in Snape's worst memory? Ready? Yep. Three, two, one. Defense against the dark. Defense arts. against the dark arts is correct. Because Peter can't remember anything about werewolves, and they're like, "How thick can you get?" <laughs> you run around with one every month. Question twenty five: Which Marauder had a grandfather named Henry who sat on the wizen gamut? Three. Two, one. James. Kind of spectacularly easy. Yeah. That <laughs> one is. Come on now, guys. I mean, Come on now. Henry Harry Potter. We could see him in Fantastic Beasts. We, we could. I He's really around. feel like we're going to. I really feel like we're going to as well. It like, would be it would be like the coolest bit of fan service they could do. Like it doesn't have to be hmm. beat you over the head with it, but just like a very subtle like, hey! Like, yeah. We know who you are. Yes, that would be fantastic. You specky git. <laughs> Like for him, like they could just like open the scene with just them like this this character talking like in rebuttal of whatever the minister is yeah, showing yeah, yeah. or whatever, sure. and they'll be like, "Thank you for your input, Potter," or whatever. Oh, right, you know, right, that's right. all it needs. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Even I mean, even if they called him Henry, yeah, well, yeah, like, they call yeah, that'd yeah, be even they, better. Yeah, yeah. Like, yeah. If they like okay, if they don't okay. Be sure oh, they, they, they would never be so subtle. That's they really, true. they, they, they yeah. are. They loved it. They're not gonna. Yeah, if they put a Potter one in there, it's gonna be like. <laughs> See, but this is, I wish, I wish they would recognize, like, us as the overthinker community and be like, don't worry, people out there will reveal it and there will be, like, a BuzzFeed article yeah. about this crazy Easter egg you totally didn't know you missed. Thanks to the Super Carlin Brothers for pointing it out to us. You're welcome, Warner Brothers. <laughs> Question 26. Who did Sirius originally suspect of being Voldemort's spy? Three, two, one. Gawkeroff. Lupin. The correct answer is Lupin. Oh! Man, I was thinking in Goblet <laughs> of who mm -hmm. he suspected was the one who put Harry's name in the Goblet. Uh, oh, man, I feel really dumb. Well, whatever. That one I just did not. It's okay. Well, I knew feel... that too, but yeah, yeah, right, yeah. 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 I, I figured yeah. you knew that. But... Yeah. <laughs> like this, who helped me? Okay. Anyway. <laughs> Question 27. What is Remus Lupin's blood status? This is one where like multiple choice doesn't help because there's only like three answers. Yeah. Right. They yeah. do come up with a fourth. 
<laughs> Do they? Yeah. Is it werewolf? <laughs> oh, positive. Uh, <laughs> uh, no, but like it's very easily discounted as not being the correct answer. If you've read any one of the books. All right, ready? Three, yeah. two, one. Half blood. Half blood. The correct answer is half blood. Woo! I don't understand the importance of that question. The... I, it's a Pottermore article because they oh. tell the story about how his parents met. Oh, mm. okay. The fourth answer is squib. Oh. Uh, <laughs> no. That doesn't <laughs> yeah. even make yeah. sense. <laughs> right? Yeah. Squibs would still be one of the other three. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Yeah. That's weird. Well, maybe not Muggleborn. Oh, why not? I mean, does that make me a squib? No. You can still like see Dementors and stuff. All right, fair enough. Question 28 is a select all that apply. Of the following, which of these people have had the Marauder's Map in their possession? Argus Filch, Alistair Moody, Dolores Umbridge, Fred and George Weasley, Draco Malfoy. Three, two, one. I said Filch and Fred and George. The correct answer is Filch and Fred and George. Oh, ba-boom, because this is Barty Crouch. Yeah. That is stupid. That's a trick question, man. Whew. Yeah, I agree. I was like, I see what they're, I knew exactly what they were doing now. Oh, that's so frustrating. <clears throat> that is, because it's like, yeah. He, he's posing as Moody mm -hmm. at the time. I do wish they put Remus Lupin in there, too, because he has it for a short while. Oh, yeah. I think Snape uses it at some point, too. Yeah. Does he? Uh, maybe. I think so, because that's how he... Yeah. Because that's how he, I think, watches what they do after they take Umbridge into the woods or something. Or is it how he knows to go to the Whomping Willow? Oh, yes. Is that it? Might be. Might be it. Oh, you're totally right. Yeah, 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 yeah. Because it's like left open on Yeah, because his... he's like, I saw this and I saw all of your names there. And... Yeah. I went out to investigate. Yep. Question 29. When Harry uses the Resurrection Stone... Who is the last to speak to him? Oh, what? My goodness. Because it would make the most sense for Lily to be the last word. It would make the most sense, but then I don't think it fits in with the quiz as well, unless you, they're just saying three-fourths of them were there. <laughs> right, 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 yeah. All right. I, I have just one line that I think was the last thing that was said, which is what I'm going with. Okay. Three, two, one. Serious. The correct answer is serious. Woo! Because I think he says, he asks him, does it hurt? And he says... It's faster than Palmer's. So Lily yeah. Potter, it was one of the multiple choice answers. So, yeah. Well, there's only, I mean, those are the, there's four yeah. people there. Yeah, she, she was there, but I don't think she was the last, uh, last I, word. I thought she was the last word. It would, it like... Fe that feels very J.K. Rowling to make Lily, or it feels very Harry Potter for her to have the last word. Right. Like, it's like, we'll be with you till the end or something like that. Or, yeah. I don't know. Question 30. This is a select all that apply. Which of the Marauders were awarded the Order of Merlin first class? Oh, man. This is hard. <laughs> I mean, it's the last question. And I've already got my answer. So. Okay. I'm not even sure if I'm right, but all right. You ready? Three, two, one. I put Remus and Peter. The correct answer is Remus Lupin. And Peter Pettigrew. Woo! Ba boom! What? Because he gets it for catching Sirius Black. Or, yeah. Or for, like, being killed by Sirius. Like, after, in, like, post... post they posthumously give him... Posthumously give him, give him yeah. Order of Merlin first class. I know, I was like... That struck in my mind. I was like, oh, that is a, that is a tricky question. And then I had, like... I didn't think James had it because there, James he didn't really do anything. Right, like his his heroism can't be overlooked, but it was never so successful right. to the point like that it would be awarded. Lupin... Yeah, Lupin like fought in the battle and right. stuff, and he knew Kingsley, and I think Sirius just didn't get out enough to do anything. Like, same story as James. Well, that was exactly what I was thinking. I was like, maybe for supplying the headquarter for the Order of the Phoenix or something, but... Yeah. I was like, well, Peter, no, for sure. But, like, it seems like that even would have been, like, revoked. I, I agree. That was almost what I was like. I know he was awarded it. I feel like it probably was revoked, but, like, it, I guess the question might have been phrased, who still holds Order of Merlin? I don't know. 
I don't know. I agree. That was a very tricky question. Whatever. There we go. I well, think that I got 24. I think I got 20. I'm still mad about chicken and turkey legs. I think that's ridiculous because <laughs> I think that it was roughly right and it was probably a coin flip. Pumpkin juice didn't make sense to me because it doesn't seem like it would be bottled and they were coming through Hogsmeade. So it seems like they would have had like... Yeah. Like we could go buy butterbeer and bring it up. Yeah, but I guess... I, they would, like, why would you bring chicken wings and then buy butterbeer? Like, you may as well just bring everything. I guess that's true. I just didn't, yeah. I couldn't figure out, like, don't spill the glass on the way down there. <laughs> I know. I could just, I just imagine, like, an open mug. Here you go. You know who carried it? Ron. It was definitely Ron. <laughs> Ron carried it. I, yeah. This quiz <clears throat> infuriated me. Oh, man. This is all the sort of pitfall questions from yeah, high school. Yes, because, like, yeah. in the freaking... <clears throat> Moody, I hate uh, the Barty Crouch thing. I've I haven't but, fallen victim for it so many times. Yeah, like I did I, today. Yeah, man, they always try and trip they you up with that. They always try to trip. They yeah. love that one. They do love it's that so. Trip. Uh, they love Barty Crouch in the quizzes. Like there, I remember one about like in what order did these people exit Azkaban or something or right, you know, or how many of these people? Oh, man. Okay, the my big issue with it, even from like the book's standpoint is I think Moody is an entirely failed character because they they still almost let him exist in Harry's life as if he has been as instructional as Barty Crouch was posing as him. Right, like, yeah. They continue to let the teachings of Mad-Eye in fourth year almost exist as if, as if like, well, it still counts for Moody because Moody would have done the same thing. Right. It's like all the all the relationship Harry had with Moody, he still has, even though it's he never actually met him. Exactly. Yeah. Right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. If anything, you'd think it would go the other way, where he just has like this innate distrust of Moody. Because, yeah. Like exactly. Because he's oh, never actually right. known him, and mm -hmm. he was taken down by a Death Eater. It's like, yeah. why does everybody look up to Moody? I think he was taken down by Voldemort, right? Well, in the Battle of Hogwarts, but like the way that Barty Crouch. Captured him. Yeah. And oh, him over oh, and that. Yeah. Yes. With trash can lids or whatever. Oh. <laughs> but at the same time, yeah. Barty Crouch, like best Death Eater. I'm so mad they didn't let him stay in the series longer. I know that's ridiculous. Uh, yeah. He would have been a great character because you never get to know him as him, right? The only yeah. thing it does is continue to confirm that uh, Fudge is just a moron. Oh, Fudge right. is the absolute worst. Anyway, how did you guys do at home? Probably better than me, I bet, <laughs> because you didn't fall victim to all the stinking questions. Uh, leave all your thoughts about this particular quiz in the towel section down below, or any other quizzes that you think we should be taking on this channel, even if they're not Harry Potter, because like, yeah. we could switch it up a little bit. We totally could. If you'd like to see our comparison from uh, which marauder is each modern day Harry Potter character, you can check out this video right here. And if you'd like to see all the other J-verse bands, you can check out this playlist right here. But until next time, Bye. Bye.